Right, hi guys, my name is Crystal. We're going back this morning and there's a car on the field. A car? It's on the path where I walk my dog and I'm just going to walk past it. Calmly walk past it. We haven't had a phone call from my mother Jennifer so far. Um, four minutes past ten. Nobody else on this field at all. No one. Apart from this car. <laughs> there's the cathedral, guys. And there's the castle. And the Union Jack is flying from one of the towers, like it has been. I'm going to put Max on the lead so he doesn't run off. It's not actually on the path, it's parked on the grass actually. It's parked on the grass. Wait, no, it is on the path. It's right across the path where I'm walking my dog. It's quite entitled to do that. And my phone is ringing. So I'm just going to answer it. Hello. Did you enjoy your trip away? So you're back now, yeah? Was it was it good? Yeah. Do you know what? I haven't even been to the seaside this year, not even once. I I haven't even had a break away. No, I haven't. I've not had a break this year. It's bad, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not doing too bad. Slight hiccup with my leg. Um, don't know. I'm going to give it a week and a half, and then I'll go and see the doctor. I think I've I've done something to my foot. Yeah. Well, I went there with my ankle, didn't I? I had a problem with my ankle. Yeah. Now everything's fine. Got no no problems at all. Wait a minute. So that's just Max barking. Don't worry about it. So how many days did you go for, Kevin? How many days did you go for? Yeah, I've got your message. Yeah, definitely, I will. Yeah, I, I don't know. Oh, it's the same here. Um, I've tried to bid on a couple of properties, but, you know, I'm being offered fourth... I've hurt my leg, and they've offered me a fourth four floor flat. A full floor? A couple of weeks ago, it was the seventh floor. Full floor. And um, some shitty ground floor flat that won't take uh, pets. And I'm not moving without Max, do you know what I mean? So I tried that, but no, nothing there. 
Uh, my mum was particularly bad last week, really bad. So at the moment, I'm just leaving her to it. Uh, she just shouted at me and I don't want to be abused anymore. She shouted at me and um, I've had enough. I've gone through my diaries and she's been doing it for ages and I've had enough. I'm having a break from it. It's pretty awful. I'm, I'm a human being and I'm being shouted at and treated like shit and I've had enough of it. <laughs> I haven't spoken to her since Thursday. She's rung the phone every day about three or four times and thinks it's a joke and I've had enough of it. <laughs> I went back in my diary to last February and um, she was doing the same thing. Acting like a stupid little kid when she's nearly 80. <laughs> oh, she keeps going on about my dad, Derek, all the time. So I've decided to stop it. If you don't command respect, you get treated like shit. So I don't like being treated like shit. <laughs> I know she's old, but she's been doing it to me since 2008 and I've had enough of it. <laughs> and everybody else that's involved in it as well, treating me like a pile of crap. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm on my way back to the flat. Yeah, it was, it's been a bit, it's not been too bad, it's been quiet. I've not had any like altercations. Uh, the football, yeah. I've really wanted England to win, but it's a shame, but there you go. I didn't go up to London, no. I stayed home in Rochester and watched it on my telly. I'm glad I did now, because everybody was miserable and pissed off they didn't win. <laughs> so, you know, it's like damp squib after a load of fireworks, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was like completely, that's it. Right, Max is, Max, stop it. Max is beating Max. Yeah, he goes to work at six in the morning upstairs. <laughs> No, he's quiet as a mouse, don't get any problems with him anymore. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, well, they've confused me with someone else because I don't lose my temper. If people want to do silly things, they can get on and do with it. It's nothing to do with me. <laughs> As long as they ain't endangering themselves or their kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I must I must say that it's been a bit it's a bit it's been Shitty, <laughs> shitty, shitty, shitty. <laughs> yeah, crap. <laughs> like miserable, do you know what I mean? No, not at all. I'm still being treated like I'm a fella, pushed around, and that chap, I think that chap's given up, that one that kept asking me to take my boobies out, I think he's given up. 
Well, I didn't answer him yesterday. He, he like texted me yesterday. I didn't answer him. No, because I'm a human being, and you just you don't speak to people like that, do you? Not if you're a gentleman, you don't speak to people like that. <laughs> No, he's got fed up, he don't bother now. <laughs> yeah, I'm alright, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> Just been a bit like... <laughs> I wouldn't say lonely, I mean, I, I live by myself. I wouldn't say I'm lonely, I just get fed up people messing me about. <laughs> yeah. You no, know, she really shouted at me last Thursday. I was I was shaking like a leaf. I was really upset. Um I know she's old and I know she's got problems, but I can't cope with it anymore. I can't. Wait a minute. Nearly home. There was a car parked on the field. On the field, it is. What can you do? I've got a bad leg. I've walked around it. That's been hurting for since Thursday as well, my leg. Yeah, my doctor's is in Strood. Yeah, I'm getting the lift up. I look okay, but my fucking leg hurts. Anyway, thank you for being around. Um, I'll speak to you later on. Bye.